all right guys welcome back welcome back working on another cascadia doing a camera so i'm only doing this video because i couldn't find anything online specifically for cascadia this is my way how i'm doing it this is the smart witness camera and we opted for having the this one faces outside this one faces on your dash outside to record the outside and we opted to get the extra accessory that faces towards the inside towards the driver so it's the camera facing out camera facing in it comes with your harness then i believe it didn't come with any any instructions at all but i'm pretty sure this is another accessory maybe a microphone we're not using it and then it also comes with this little converter it goes from like 12 volts to 5 volts I only know it's 12 volts because I was looking for a fuse or somewhere to tap in with my voltmeter or multimeter I was looking for a fuse with my multimeter to find current which I did I'll tell you guys about that right now it also came with oh yeah this harness sorry I already installed it it's this harness plugs this little 8 pin plugs into the 12 volts which would be oh, which would be on this side plugs in only one way that it goes in and then you plug in your harness for the cameras on the other side of the little converter which converts it into a 5 volt that's only a 6 pin only one way in one way out so the harness and I, I said excuse me but I already wired it in the harness comes with two fuses comes with all kinds of alarms and something else like alarm in alarm out i'm not sure what that's all about this is the way i did it i did the ground tapped it into some metal with the self tapping on the direct power or constant power i found a fuse an atm fuse i didn't want to cut into the harness so that's why i went this route i got these little adapters off of amazon they're atm like fuse splicers or atm fuse adapter something like that i'll put it in the description which one it is and then i did the accessory or ignition one which is labeled atm ignition so in order to find those all i did was get my multimeter i put the what is it called the ground or no it's called the common the common aka ground on this little bolt right here and then I just went checking all the fuses and I opted for the last ones. It was fuse 12, I believe. Fuse 12 is direct control left to the battery. Not sure what that is, but it's on there. And then this one is the ignition one, which that one turns on with the ignition. That's a 29, 20, 27, 26, actually. F25, which is dash splice pack. Again, not sure what that is, but we do have that. That is where I spliced into or tapped into with those little tappers. So I did that and I just tested it out right now. And sure enough, it worked. It worked perfectly fine. The other thing is now I have to remove the panels, the whole A pillar panel and part of the roof or the headliner to be able to run it and i'm installing the cameras up here let me go ahead and run that and show you guys in a bit all right guys so just a little update that's how i have this wired up i put the wire through there the harness goes through the low side comes out up here then i just ran it along the whole harness that's the existing harness and underneath the liner the yeah roof liner or whatever it's called the panel right here on top the ceiling panel so here it is this is the little converter harness is down there tucked in have everything tucked in underneath the fuse box and everything that way nothing's getting pulled i will put another little zip tie right here i'll put one right now just so it's a lot nicer not pulling on each other so i'll put a little Put a little zip tie right here right now just so it's out of the way and not pulling make sure it's not kinked or anything 
I ran the wire, the harness through the side, inside of the dash, where next to the fuse box. Then I have it running alongside and zip tied on the existing harness that was already there. And then underneath this ceiling panel, and it comes over here. So I'll run my camera and everything and whatever wires I have to tuck, I'll tuck them in. Then I'll put all my panels back together. Before I put everything back together, I'm gonna test them again, make sure everything's running right. And that should conclude this video. I might show you guys a little bit once I have it all hooked up back on, everything put back together. I'll show you guys, I'll test it out for you guys. Like I said, there will be a link for these little taps. They are nylite taps, I believe. And I believe there's gonna be like a little 5% discount code on there. So I'll leave that in the description and I'll be back with you guys right now once we are done wiring that camera or mounting that camera so you guys can see the little setup I did. All right guys, so there it is. Put the cover back on for the fuses. Harness is out of the way. Don't forget, it has an on off switch on there to turn it on, switch it on to the on position I mean. Put all the panels back on already. Ran the wires on the underneath the panel right there. Put this camera facing forward. This is the original camera I had on there. And then the camera facing the drivers. Took the wires in as much as possible. Let's go ahead and let me switch that over. Let me switch it to the on position. There's on right there. Let's see if it works. I'll go ahead and put the fuse back on right now. The fuse cover or the, the glove box back on. But let's see, we switch it on. Yes, we do have power. Oh, well, I guess so. There you go. There it is. We do have power on it. It's recording. So yeah, guys, that's basically it. That's how you wire a smart witness camera onto your Cascadia directly to the fuses. Like I said, I'll leave a link for the little tabs, the little uh infuse i forgot what they're called these are from nylite i will be leaving a little discount code that helped me out it was like a five percent discount code but yeah let me know what else guys this was just off the top like i said last minute video i'll be posting more random stuff like this and don't forget to like oh that's gonna be it for this video don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, and help me out. We're growing little by little. I appreciate the support so far. Appreciate you guys. Y'all have a good one. Be safe. Till next time. Peace.